Everything is New TV veio aqui mais uma vez ao Coliseu. Desta vez estamos com um dos elementos dos cabeças de cartaz, Phil Dem, dos Machine Head. Hello, Phil, how are you? Good. Doing all right. Love to be back here in Portugal. Haven't, we haven't headlined here in almost seven years, so we're excited for, uh, really stoked for tonight. And you, you told me that you are half Portuguese, so it's a special meaning today. It is. It's special to be back here. When we played here with, uh, with Metallica a few years ago, my mother's 100% Portuguese, and uh, I flew her out here to go to the show and, and uh, took her out on stage in front of 50,000 people and draped a flag around her. She was, it was one of her, the highlights of her life, so it was, it's exciting. We love the fans here. Uh, and to the Locust, can you tell me a little bit about it? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, um, very... Uh, Man, it's a record that we uh, kind of took big steps on and uh, really pushed ourselves performing-wise and uh, dug down deep into some emotions and really drew from different uh, inspirations and stuff like that. So it's uh, our most ambitious offering so far. I mean, we've really, uh, Rob took a lot of classical lessons and stuff and we really pushed ourselves performing-wise, so we're uh, excited about it. One of your most complex works, do you agree? It is, it is. I mean, the blackening was set us, this is the next step from that. I mean, it set it up for this. I mean, we took all the elements of the blackening and mixed them in with uh, some of our newer influences and our new, kind of where our level of performing is and just kind of pushed it up a notch. I mean, the songwriting is better, the singing is better, the, the guitar playing is better, the drumming is better, you know, the harmonies are awesome. So, you know, we're just, that's where we're at now. Do you think you have achieved a sort of a formula now? We have a formula to which we write and record, um, but from which where we draw our inspiration from, that isn't formulated, that's, uh, it's not contrived, it's something organic, it's something that's inside of us and where we are, I mean it was five years ago when we wrote The Blackening, so it's five years removed from where we were as people, as bandmates, as friends, as family men and to where we are this much later I mean we've we have children now and and uh, different sort of sort of relationships so it just kind of and we've had different experiences too so you draw off your experiences and you pour them into this record you took that family relationship to the next level so you brought your kids in for the recordings <laughs> yeah yeah we did uh, Rob had this intro to the song called um, who we are and uh, he had recorded a demo version with him and his, his kids, his two boys, and our engineer Juan's two daughters. And for, I brought my son down to be a part of it this time too. And he got too shy in the studio, so I had to record him elsewhere, and we just kind of flew it in elsewhere, so. Okay, so do you prefer at this point to play live? Absolutely, yeah. I think that there's a, uh, a reciprocal energy being traded back and forth between us and our fans that I really get off on. I mean, the recording part and the creative part is pretty cool, but definitely playing live is, is my, where I tend to favor. How's it been for you to balance that professional side with the family side, being away so, for so, so long? Um, he was born six months before the Blackening tour started, so um, it, was, it was easier in the beginning because he was a baby and being gone, um, it, it's harder now because he's a little man, he's a little person, and um, I get to talk to him every night, which helps, but also the fact that I'm in a, I found a relationship with a girl that I've been in for the past year and a half, and so it's been different with me. She's in a touring band too, so when she would go away, it'd be hard, and being stuck at home, it's like, man, this is what I like, this sucks. But now that I'm gone, it's, uh, this is the hardest, being away from home that it's been for me since I've been in the band. Do you have plans on making a DVD or any other support for this tour? Not yet. I mean, we've been filming some stuff. We've got our videographer coming out to film some stuff. So I think that there has to be some sort of uh, fill-in um, in between the record and tours and stuff down the road. Um, so we'll probably end up doing some sort of DVD. I mean, we recorded hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of, of stuff from the uh, from the Blackening tour, so we were working on a DVD for that, but we just got kind of caught up into, it's, it was time to move on from the Blackening, man. We did like, you know, five years of working on this record and tour, and then started looking at DVD footage, just like, man, we gotta move on from this record. It's time to, you know, 
shelve it, move on to something else, and that's what we did. We, it'll probably get revisited at some point because so much happened on that tour. But um, as for now, it's, it's promoting this record. Do you feel that your fans are more demanding nowadays? Yeah, I think that the internet is gone and... Can I curse? Can I swear? I, I get the, the internet's gonna fuck this up for everybody, you know? It's because it's like instant gratification, instant information. It's like, hey, who's, who was, you know, what show did they do this? And just press the Google button on the internet machine, you know? And you have your... So there, everything is so accessible. So um, when I was growing up, man, if I, I couldn't see an Iron Maiden show, you know, at the, oh, I wonder what they're like live, you know? And now it's just like you just go on YouTube and you can see, oh, any show you want, you know? So it's... Yeah, they're, they're more demanding. They, they want to know more information. They want to they want to be able to access stuff that they haven't been able to see before. So, coming up with ways to do that, it's as a band, and um, it's kind of kind of hard sometimes because you we live inside this bubble, and everything is exposed, and we live our lives out in public. And um, giving more than that is is hard sometimes, but sometimes it's it's demanded or needed. Thank you so much for your time. Absolutely. Hope you have fun later. All right. We'll see you guys.